Hey everyone, how are you doing today? So I'm gonna be showing you a classic, just kind of an everyday, really, really easy to wear look for people that wear glasses. So if you want to wear your glasses and you don't want to worry about contacts, this is just a really simple everyday look for the glasses wearer in you. <laughs> if you'd like to see how I got this look, stay tuned. All right, so I'm gonna start out by priming my eyelids with my Maybelline Superstay 24 hour concealer. Just put a few dots of that on my eyelids. And then just blend that around. Get that a little underneath too. So next I'm gonna start out with my highlight color. I just like to highlight before I do my brows. Crystal Avalanche by MAC with a round fluffy brush. I'm just going to get a little bit of that and place that right under my brow. Now again, if you have a darker skin tone, you can go ahead and use um, a beige of some sort or a really light cream color. Whatever color highlight you prefer to use. I'm going to put just a little bit of that on my inner corners as well. So now I'm going to do my brows. And I am using Jordana Black Eyeliner Pencil um, in 02 Black. I'm sure it's a little bit sharp. And I'm just going to drop under my eyebrows. So just get that shape. Just starting from here, not all the way in, just from here. Just in some light stroking motions, because when you wear your glass, you're really going to see your eyebrows. So we want to make sure that your eyebrows are pretty defined. So I'm going to do the other eye. Now I personally do like my brows a little bit darker. I feel like it's really weird when you see girls with black hair and brown eyebrows. It just I don't like it, so I like to make mine pretty dark. So, but if you don't want yours this dark, don't make them as dark. So now I'm just going to line the top. Just to get our initial shape. Okay, so now with my pencil, I'm just going to kind of roughly fill in the edges. So that when I put that powder on top, it really has something to stick to. But I'm only doing it kind of halfway. So there we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and take a brow brush and just kind of brush that up and out. So I'm pulling that eyeliner from down below up. And I'm just going to blend out the rest of that color with this brush. Okay, so that brow is done. Now we'll just go ahead and do this other one. Now I'm going to go ahead and take just a little angled brush and I'm going to be using a matte black shadow. Now if you obviously don't have black eyebrows, you can use um, any sort of other brownish tones, whatever a shadow, a matte, um, that matches your hair color. So I'm going to be using, it is L'Oreal Wear Infinite um, and the color is Lush Raven. Again, I've had this one forever. Just a black. Just going to take that on the end of my brush and just brush that in. All right, so I'm gonna take that brush again and just kind of brush through them one more time. And again, obviously I like them really dark, so if you don't like them so dark, don't add so much powder, and then just lighten it up towards the front. They're not perfect, and I'm okay with it. <laughs> So I'm going to move on to the eyeshadow. I'm just going to go ahead and take um, that same round fluffy brush that I had before. And I'm going to take a cream color. And this is the Maybelline um, Expert Wear in Champagne Fizz. I don't have much of it left, but it's just a traditional kind of a vanilla shimmery color. So I'm going to take some of that on my brush and just put that all over my lid. And then pull that up into your crease and up under your brow. Just to really lighten that inner corner on the other lid. So now that that is done, I'm going to go ahead and take a um, blending brush from e.l.f. Briskly. It's a warm brown color. It's by Clinique. And the color is Foxy. And just putting this into my crease. Starting from the edge. Just kind of leave your eye open. And just run it along your crease. And I like to bring it up towards the edge. Thank you. 
Now you can go ahead and take that extra and bring it down too and actually blend it in right here, just on the edges. Blend it in with that champagne fizz color. So now that the eyeshadow's done, I'm going to move on and line my bottom waterline with, it's a Jordana 12 hour made to last eyeshadow pencil in eternal white. <laughs> My eyes are twitching because I had coffee this morning. Okay, so that just really opens up your eyes because when you're wearing the glasses, it kind of frames them off, so it makes them look smaller. Um, so this just really opens them up in there. So next, we're going to do our eyeliner. So this is my favorite I'm going to be using. It's the Maybelline Eye Studios, and it's a gel liner in blackest black. And it comes with this little brush. So I'm gonna be using this brush. Just take a little bit of that onto your brush. And I always start from the outer corner. I'm gonna be doing a pretty thick line, so. There we go. And really get that into your lash line too, because I don't wanna put black underneath, because um, usually it transfers to the bottom white. Um, yeah, I just dropped that, that was weird. Okay, now I'm not gonna worry about doing my wing just yet, so I will do that at the end. Now I'll do the other eye. So now that we have both of them, I'm just going to go ahead and do my wings. I'm going to take a little bit more of my brush and create the wings. So I'm just going to pull it up with my natural eye shape. It's not going to be anything extreme, just, just a little wing. And then I'll pull that up on the other side. It's easiest just to stay looking forward in the mirror and then kind of keep your both of your eyes open and kind of make sure that they are at the same angle. So now I'm just gonna take a little bit more product on my brush and just pull that over. Okay, so now we have our wings on our eyes. Super classic, nothing, nothing too crazy. So next I'm just going to go ahead and set that eyeliner. I'm gonna be taking my same black brush I use for my eyebrows and then the same blush raven matte brown shadow and I'm just going to put that on top on top of that liner so I can keep it in place okay so we're looking nice and matte and dark so what I'm going to do next is just take my mascara and I'm using the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express, you know, this container is in Glam Black, I believe. Yes, I'm just going to do my top lashes and a very, very thin coat on my bottom lashes. So we'll start off by doing the top. And this is a non-waterproof formula because I feel like it's so much easier to get off at night. Um, I try not to cry anyway, so if I do, I don't really care. For some reason, my lashes are looking kind of clumpy today. Alright, so I'm going to kind of take that, what's left on my brush, and really just brush it off in any way I can. I don't like to make my tubes dirty, but I gotta do what you gotta do, you know? So I'm going to take that what's a little bit on my brush and just lightly run it on my bottom lash line. Because with those glasses, you really need something on your bottom lash line because the majority of it is an open space down here, so you need something right there. If you wanted to make this a colorful look, if you want to put just a colored mascara on your bottom lashes, that would look really good and just be kind of that little bit of a color statement. Uh, so do like a purple or a blue or green mascara on your bottom lashes. But because this is more of an everyday look, I'm just going to use black. Okay, so we have our bottom lashes. Looking all pretty. So next I'm just going to move on to the face. We do have our eyes completely done. It's just a very simple look. So I'm going to be taking my Coastal Scents Eye Contour Palette. And I'm going to be taking an Ulta Contour Brush. And I'm going to take... I'm going to start out with... Let's see. A little bit of white under my eyes just to brighten that up a bit even though 
I already did do my concealer and my foundation and everything. Um, and I promise, probably the next video I make, I will solely dedicate an entire video to a flawless face look. So I promise I will do that next. So I'm gonna start out, I'm gonna take some of this kind of a beige. It's a dark, it's really dark for me. So I'm actually gonna use that as my first kind of a contour color. So run that along my cheekbones. And then I'm gonna put that brown contour color on top of it so that it blends really, really well. The brown in this is really, really pigmented. So if you don't use a really light hand, uh, you can put on too much, even though it is really blendable, but around my temples, my forehead, I'll run that under my chin, and then a little on the sides of my nose. Now I'm gonna take that darker brown, just take a little bit of that on my brush, and really contour the sides. So you just get a little bit like that. So you have it on both sides here, if you can see. We'll just take that and blend it out in buffing circular motion, so. And now I will do the other side. The ding, ding, ding. <laughs> and the key to contouring is just seriously buffing, like buffing the poo out of your face. Hopefully you don't really have poo on your face though. Okay, so just really, really buff that in. And kind of pull that up on the sides again and whatever's left on your brush. And run that into your hairline without messing up your hair too much. chin as I always do <laughs> okay so that is looking much better already so next I'm going to take my blush and I'm actually just going to use the same brush and I'm gonna be using two blushes so I'm gonna be using my elf blush and pink passion take a little bit of that on my brush and get that on the apples of my cheeks and pull that up into your contour color. Just a super feminine pinky flesh. Ooh, it's thundering outside. Very youthful color. So after that, I'm just gonna be taking, it's a Clinique Blush and Bronze Duo, and the duo color is, it's called Ice Lotus with the Sun Kissed. So I use all these Sun Kissed, but I will be using this kind of a sparkly pink it's called Ice Lotus. I'm going to take a little bit of that and then just put this on the apples of my cheeks because it'll give me that really pretty, just a little bit of a shimmer to it because that uh, pink passion color is a matte blush. There's no sparkle to it whatsoever. So I'm just going to take my big fluffy brush and just kind of buff all over my face. to make sure that everything is completely blended. Better safe than sorry, I always say. Um, last but not least, I'm gonna be taking, it's my um, CoverGirl Lip Perfection, and this is my favorite color in, in Tip Dress. So I'm gonna be putting this lipstick on first. I do have a little bit of a lip balm on already, so I'm gonna kind of blot that off. <laughs> color is just so pretty and girly. After that, it's a Dazzlelicious. It's actually from Bath & Body Works. Um, glitter glosses. Dazzlelicious. And the color is Dazzlelicious. So <laughs> it's just a very shimmery pink color. Got a little flat wand. I don't know how I feel about the smell of this. I feel like it smells like raisins. So, and this thing was $10. I didn't know how much it was until I get up to the register at Bath & Body Works with the rest of my stuff. And I'm like, why is this $50? Like, and I'm like, oh, the lip gloss is 10, so I didn't argue and I just bought it anyway. I'm gonna put this gloss on top of that, just right in the middle to give me a little bit of shine. Make them look a little pouty. And now to complete the look, I'm just going to put on my glasses. 
so that I can see, and I'm sorry you can see the window reflecting. I love these glasses, but you can see that you can see all of my eyeshadow, just a really pretty and just that white eyeliner underneath just really opens up my eyes. So I'm gonna put on my other pair too, my Ray-Bans. These are my other favorite glasses. Love these. So this look looks really great with either pair. Um, the kind of cat eye ones look super vintage. And then these kind of looks vintage, but still a little bit edgy. Um, so this does conclude my look. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. I really hope this helps you out. If you're not subscribed to my channel, we can go ahead and do that now. Anyway, have a great day. Thank you so much for watching.